Hollywood star Elizabeth Taylor had a special love for jewelry. In interviews, she said that she loved all her jewelry so much that she often spread them out in front of her and admired the beauty and brilliance for a long time. Elizabeth even published a book called My Love Affair with Jewelry. In this video you will learn about the most iconic jewelry of this interesting and uncommon personality. Elizabeth Taylor's third husband, movie producer Michael Todd, gave his beloved incredible diamond earrings. This luxurious gift was connected with one cute story. One day Elizabeth was walking around Paris and saw in a store window earrings in which she instantly fell in love. Michael, of course, bought these earrings for Elizabeth to please his beloved. True accessory turned out to be just costume jewelry. Although this did not prevent Taylor with pleasure to wear these earrings. But later Michael secretly from his wife ordered exactly the same earrings from a jeweler, but with real diamonds. A little later, Michael Todd pleased his wife with another luxurious jewelry gift, a vintage diamond tiara from 1880 worth more than $4 million. For the first time Elizabeth Taylor appeared in it at the Academy Awards. Elizabeth wore this exquisite piece of jewelry very often. There are even rumors that she sometimes swam in it in the pool. The chic jewelry necklace with emeralds and diamonds Elizabeth received as a gift from her next husband, actor Richard Burton, whom she met on the set of the film, Cleopatra. Burton bought the necklace from the jewelry house, Vulgari. Richard did not want to buy jewelry more expensive than $100,000 and asked to pick up something more modest. Then Johnny Bulgari showed them the smallest piece of jewelry he had. The couple was not satisfied with this, and the jeweler brought them the most expensive piece, a necklace with emeralds and diamonds. There is another story associated with the gorgeous diamond, which was given the name Taylor Burton. Elizabeth never wore jewelry with stones below 7 carats. In 1969, she learned that the largest diamond weighing 70 carats was put up for auction. Of course Elizabeth wanted to see it right away. The stone had two settings that allowed the diamond to be worn around the neck as a necklace or screwed onto a ring. But it was taken from the auction by the jewelry house Cartier, paying $1,050. But Elizabeth Taylor didn't give up. She negotiated with Cartier and bought back the stone. Later, after parting with Richard Burton, Taylor sold the diamond for $5 million. Another magnificent jewel from Elizabeth Taylor's collection is the Wandering Pearl. The most expensive pearl in the world, the Peregrina Pearl was auctioned off in 1969. The pearl was found in 1554 in Panama. It was discovered by an African slave, for which he received freedom. The first owner was the Spanish King Philip II, who gave it to his wife Mary Tudor. In 2011 at the auction house Christie's The Wandering Pearl was sold for $11,800,000.